Okay, so we've got to solve a trigonometrical equation between 0 and 360. And um, what you need to obviously see here, the difficulty we've got is that we've got different functions here. Okay, we've got a tan function and a sec function. So we're going to need to change this so that we have just one function. And you'll know that there's a function we can change and there's a function we can't change. In this case, we cannot change the tan theta, okay, because it's just tan theta, it's not squared. But we can change the sec function here because it's sec squared. So the squared function you can always change. Okay, well, to do that, we've got, got some results, and you might remember them. If you don't remember them, we'll always go back to the first result here that we learned last year, sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. Okay, so we can always use this result to get any other result that we want for these type of questions. Now, um, just for a future tip, right, um, when you're trying to work out the results and you want to do it quickly, um, you don't have to write it out in full, okay, because these are just little workings here I'm doing to get the results. Instead of sine squared, you could just put s squared. Instead of cos squared, you could just put c squared. So sine squared plus cos squared is equal to 1, okay. Now, I wouldn't use that when you're doing your work ends, okay, I'd never do that. But when you're trying to find a result to substitute in here, this is absolutely fine, okay, because you can do it quite quickly then. And then you'll ask yourself, well, what do I need to divide by here? Well, because I want sec squared, I'm going to need to divide by cos squared here. Yeah? Because if I divide by cos squared on this side here, 1 divided by cos squared, of course, is going to be sec squared, yeah? Because 1 over cos is sec. So 1 over cos squared is sec squared. So you divide everything by cos squared. And then you recognize then, well, sine over cos is tan. Okay, so sine squared over cos squared is tan squared. Cos squared over cos squared is 1, and 1 over cos squared is sec squared theta. So quite simply then, we substitute this expression for sec squared, okay, this result for sec squared in here. So I have 10 tan squared theta plus 1 equals to 11 tan theta plus 16. And what's great about this then is everything is in terms of tan. So you just need to expand this bracket then. And then get everything to the to the left hand side. So you have tan ten tan squared theta minus eleven tan theta. And if I take that sixteen over, it becomes a minus sixteen. So ten minus the sixteen is minus six is zero. And we've got ourselves a simple quadratic which we can solve. Okay, so if we do two brackets, um, so you can put the method that we normally use is in lessons here, we write 10 tan theta at the start of both. Over here then we think, okay, of a pair of numbers that would multiply to give, well, 10 times minus 6 or minus 60. So a pair of numbers that multiply to give minus 60, but got to add up to give minus 11. So if you think about it, it's going to be 15 and 4, but i got to make that a negative 15. So put the negative in front of the bigger number because we've got negative here and that does multiply to give this and it does add up to give minus 11 so minus 15 add 4 put the bracket equals back is equal to 0 then so we're solving it equals to 0 and don't forget then with this method you've got to divide because we times by 10 there to get minus 60 you've got to divide by 10 so in this first bracket you can divide by a factor of 5 so we get um, 2 tan theta minus 3. And in the second bracket, I can divide by a factor of 2. So divide that by 2, I get 5 tan theta plus 2. So it's always good then just to multiply that out, just to check, does it take me back to that? Okay, so I get 10 tan squared theta plus 2 tan theta minus 15 tan theta, which will give me that, yeah, because plus 4 tan theta rather than minus 15 tan theta is that, and then minus 6 then, so it's perfect. So then you say, look, either, because it's equal to 0, and we times in two brackets equal to 0, so either 2 tan theta minus 3 equals to 0, or 5 tan theta plus 2 equals to 0, so that means tan theta is equal to 3 over 2, or tan theta is equal to minus 2 over 5. So on your calculator, 
make sure you change you have it in degree mode I'm gonna check that on mine I've got degree mode so inverse tan of 3 over 2 so I get theta to be 56.3 and then minus 2 over 5 I get minus 21.8 degrees okay so remember our results then we need a full set of results between 0 and 360 so I'm going to draw my tan graph now because this is a minus result I'm going to have to go back to minus 90 okay so maybe I'll do every three centimeters to represent 90s and I'm going to need an asymptote at 90 with a tan graph 270 and of course minus 90 so when I draw it in I'm gonna have there you go I'm gonna have my tan graph there like that so 56.3 okay is um, about there it takes we've got 90 there and we've got 180 there 270 there 360 here minus 90 there so 56.3 degrees is going to be about there it's obviously more much more than halfway so that's where 3 over 2 is going to be and minus 21.8 is going to be about there Six point three, so it'll just enables me then to get the other results. Yeah, so for the first one, you have fifty six point three. Okay, and then of course to get that one, well, because I'm going across fifty six point three for the rise of the curve, for the rise of the curve there, I'm going across fifty six point three. So I'm going to do fifty six point three plus one eighty, and then minus twenty one point eight here. Well, I'm going across to the left this time, so I'm going to go back to the left from one eighty. So one eighty minus twenty one point eight. I'm going to go back from 360 minus 21.8. So it enables me then to get all my results. So I got 56.3, 236.3 when I add that on. Minus 21.8 disappears because that's, that's outside of our range. We're going to have 158.2 and we're going to have 338.2.